Hey everybody, I'm Andrew from Roblox. I'm here at BloxCon London 2013, and I'm hanging out with Raven Shield, who is a builder on the platform that you might know of. Um, so we just want to start out and maybe have you talk about what you've been doing today at BloxCon, how it's working for you. Yep, um, today I arrived uh, very early, uh, way before BloxCon opened, to not miss a thing. Um, and I got straight into the R&D lab and started testing out the physics demo. Yeah, what do you think of it? It's, it's exciting, yeah. absolutely. Is that something you think you would use in, on Roblox? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool. Um, so I guess we can talk a little bit about like, your background on Roblox. How long, have you been, how long have you been a member? Five and a half years now. Five and a half years? Yeah. So that's, was that like at launch almost? Or? No, it was a year after launch, so okay. 2007. How, you, how did you find Roblox? I don't really remember. I think I saw a video of someone breaking down a Lego tower, mm -hmm. which was Roblox. Mm -hmm. And I thought, hmm, that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then you started five years ago. Where did you begin and kind of what, do you, what, what have you worked toward doing now? Um, I began by just uh, messing around in solo mode or build mode, as it, it's called. Um, I enjoyed adding bombs and all that kind of stuff and blew everything up over and over. And it was just so fun. It was really amusing back then. Mm -hmm. It's not that fun now, but yeah. yeah. And then I started building a little bit and just developed my scale. Yeah, and now, like today you make some pretty impressive stuff. We've seen it um, in the places you've uploaded on Roblox. We've seen it in the contest entries that you've submitted video-wise. So um, what kind of, like, what, what's your inspiration now? What, what, and what kind of tools do you use to make such nice builds? Um, my inspiration, I don't really have any specific inspiration. I just build what comes to mind. Mm -hmm. um, I use the command utility tools by Animinus mm -hmm. uh, and have been using them since they came out because yeah. they're really handy and lets you do exactly what you need. Right. What are you most proud of? <laughs> In two 2008, I made uh, Hide and Seek, which now is a very spread out game. Uh, it, it was, well, it earned me about 600,000 visits back then, and that was a lot. It's not that much today, mm -hmm. but I was, uh, for a while, one of the top games mm -hmm. uh, on Roblox, and that was, that makes me kind of proud. I did that. Right. So you've been around for five plus years. Is there something that sort of keeps you coming back here? Because, I mean, I mean there's a lot of stuff to do, but, you know, what is it? Because most games, you know, you play them. Um, six months or a year, and then you move on to the next release, the next version of it that comes out, but yeah. you know, what, what is it that draws you back? Um, Roblox I use more as a tool to express my creativity and create whatever's on my mind. Uh, and that's really what draws me back. Plus it's free, so I don't have to pay monthly subscriptions. And it's just a platform I'm very used to, and I never feel like moving on because I don't want to start from scratch again. Anything else that you would want to add? I mean while you have a chance to say whatever. Yeah, um, keep building whoever is building and keep scripting. It's really worth learning both.